Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching how to find your lost iPhone, even if it has a dead battery or if it's offline. I know how frightening it is to lose your phone and how frustrating it is to try and find it, especially if it has a dead battery or if it's turned off. But thanks to the rapid advancement of technology, locating lost iPhones is now easier than ever. And so, I decided to make this video to show all the different methods that you can use to find your phone no matter what situation you're in. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if you found today's video helpful or informative, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, and turning on the notifications to always be updated whenever I post. Now, there are several methods you can use to locate your lost iPhone, and I will be sharing with you four different methods. All right, the first three methods are made possible thanks to the Find My iPhone feature, and the last one is going to be using Google Maps. So first of all, open the Find My iPhone app on your iPad, Mac, or sell your Apple Watch. Once you're in the app, select the Devices tab, and you will see a list of all your enabled devices. Next, choose your iPhone from the list, and the app will display its location on a map. If your phone is turned off, the map will show a black screen, but it will indicate the last time the device was detected, but if your iPhone is on, the map will display a colorful home screen along with the battery level. Now, if you want directions to your iPhone, simply tap on the Directions button. And if you want to locate your device using a sand, select the Play Sound option. Just keep in mind that using these features will only work if your phone has a functioning battery. If your iPhone is dead, the map will show directions to its last known location. Another useful feature is Lost Mode. By activating this, you can remotely lock your iPhone and display a message with a contact phone number. And if you enable Notify When Found, you'll receive a notification when someone attempts to access the phone. But do keep in mind that these functions only work if your phone's battery is charged. Now, the second method to locate your lost iPhone is to use iCloud's Find My iPhone feature by logging into your account on any web browser. The authentication process requires a second Apple device, so if you're using your own Mac, you'll receive a prompt to grant the access. But if you don't have a second Apple device such as an Apple Watch or an iPad, you may need to receive an SMS code on your phone to log into your Apple ID, which could make the process a bit more difficult. Alright, once you're logged in, click on the Find My iPhone icon on the website, then select the All Devices link and choose your missing iPhone. Similar to the first method, if the device is dead, a black screen with smaller text will show you its last known location and when it was last seen. And if the phone is turned on, a colorful home screen and a battery icon with the remaining battery life will appear. Now, you can also use a play sound button to locate your iPhone if it's turned on or offline but not dead. Alternatively, you can activate lost mode by remotely lock your device and display a custom message with a phone number to contact you. Finally, the erase iPhone option should only be used if you believe your iPhone was permanently lost or stolen, as it will wipe all data on your device. Now, don't worry, you can easily restore your phone's data using your iCloud's backup if you frequently update it. But what if you don't have another iPad or Mac on your Apple ID that shares the same ID? Well, you can use someone else's iPhone or iPad to locate your missing iPhone. And let me show you how. On their device, open the Find My app, tap on the Me tab, at the bottom, scroll down, and select Help a Friend. This will take you to a special version of the iCloud's login page where you can enter your Apple ID and password to access a list of devices attached to your Apple ID, including your lost iPhone. Once you select your iPhone, you will see if it is off or on and its last known location. You can set the device to wake up or alert you when it is found, play sound if it is on, or erase it remotely. So now you can go and look for your lost iPhone. Note that this method does not require a second Apple device and can be done with someone else's iPhone without logging into your Apple ID with two-factor authentication. And last but not least, you can use Google Maps timeline feature to track down your iPhone even if you haven't enabled the Find My iPhone feature. First, go to www.google.com slash maps slash timeline and make sure you're signed into your Google account. If you have the Google Maps app installed on your iPhone and location history is enabled, Google will have a record of your phone's movements. Simply select the date your iPhone went missing and check your last known location, but keep in mind that this feature only works if you have been sharing your location history with Google. So overall, finding a lost iPhone might seem like a daunting task, but there are a lot of options to locate it, even if it is dead or offline. From using Apple's Find My iPhone feature to iCloud's website and Google Maps timeline, you have a range of tools at your disposal, by following the steps I showed you today, you can increase your chances of locating your lost iPhone and taking appropriate measures to secure it. That's all for today's video. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you found today's video helpful. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more useful tech tips and tutorials. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below as I love hearing from you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.